I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome to the NBA. We're joined by the legends, Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Our featured matchup tonight out in New York, where the Knicks will be going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, for Milwaukee, they're sitting at 500 over the last 10 games, kind of treading water. They'd really like to make a splash over the next few games. Well, Freak was recently selected to be a part of All-Star Weekend. Very big honor for him, and I'm sure uh, there will be a lot expected of him. You guys have both been involved with All-Star Weekend. Uh, what's it like? What's going through their heads right now? Well, the most important thing you have to do is just enjoy the weekend. There's going to be a lot of superstars there. There's going to be a lot of things going on. You just have to go, perform, let them know who you are. The fans voted you in. Got to give them a great show. Yeah, but you, if I think, uh, guys, if you're there, you can't get caught up with all of the hype and everything and all the star watching. I think you have to, you're there to be the star, not to see the stars. So you have to go in there and perform and let people remember you. Shaq always did that, and he did that great. I, you know I, why? Why? I saw Halle Berry looking at yeah. me one uh, time. <laughs> you know what I think it was really admirable, whether you were going to be in the dunk contest, Kenny, or the three-pointer, you're playing in the game, Shaq, that – that you guys got to town and you just and you just stayed in the room. I thought that was very impressive. I sure did. You, yeah, that's yeah. all you did. You just went to it the hotel, checked in, and said, "I'll see you, see you Saturday but night." But I considered or see you the city the room. She kills stayed in the room, but Shaq was partying like a bird. <laughs> 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 we'll see you next time. It's the NBA on 2K Sport. Glad you're here with us tonight for this Monday night presentation. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Looking at the last game for the New York Knicks, it was a win against the Grizzlies and Mavericks. And that result, guys, was a real shock. It was just about as complete a dominant performance as we've seen them. And the deciding factor in that one was their... You and yours. First me and mine. Are we talking teams? Are we talking teams? Are you switching sides? Wanna come with me? Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 here with another NBA 2K My Career Game Plan. Today we are taking on the my hometown team, the Milwaukee Bucks. Yes, that is right. We are taking on the hometown Milwaukee Bucks. We're going to try and see if we come out here at this win. The last time we played against these guys. It almost went in overtime, but I hit. I got the game-winning block on Michael Carter Williams to give us the dub. And if you look at my shoes, uh, if you look at my shoes, you could see. Uh, you could see. Uh, what are those? What are you stunning, Uh. I accidentally took a deal with Adidas, even though I had a deal with Jordan. <laughs> it's funny because I completed the whole Jordan thing. Like I got the signature shoe and everything. I that's not going. I didn't do a signature shoe. I'm not going to do a signature shoe this year because I'm. I'm I. I caught a brain fart this time around. I can't. I can't make a different. I can't make a good looking shoe. It's hard to compete against the Dar Raiders and the Money Kicks. It's hard to compete against those two it's hard to create something every year with this game so I'm not I didn't even bother just going with a signature shoe this year yes he does have a signature shoe you can't get a signature shoe with uh, Jordan or Adidas so I took the Adidas uh, shoe thing I thought what was gonna happen was I was gonna get both but I ended up fucking up and well, now I can only wear Adidas shoes for free and I have to pay for the Jordan shoes. So, But thankfully, my backup point guard has a Jor has the Jordan deal, so I ain't got to worry about uh, trying to get back in good graces with Jordan with my big man because I can just use my point guard. Um, even though I do like wearing some of the Adidas, mainly the Crazy 8s, that's pretty much the only shoe that's 
worth it is because they because adidas won't retro any of the t-max though like they won't retro the t-max and the t-max was fire i don't know why they won't remaster those or re or resell those re retro them i don't know why they won't retro the t-max but okay so yeah um see the title you know why you clicked on the video uh david blatt yes we're back on the david blatt situation again And basically, I feel like David Black should not go back to the year leagues. I don't think he should go back to the year leagues. I think he should still coach in the NBA because the way he was did was wrong. There's no denying how he was treated was wrong um, by LeBron and the Cavaliers the way they treated him. Because if you watch that Spurs game, like I watched that Spurs game. Look at the effort LeBron was putting in, and then look at the last Spurs game where LeBron was putting little to no effort in trying to make David Blatt look like a bad coach. That is bullshit, LeBron. You a hoe for that. You a hoe for that, LeBron. You gonna show out when your friend Tyron lose the coach, but when David Blatt was the coach, you ain't gonna put no effort in. You was getting hoed by well, you get hoed by Kawhi Leonard on on basically. You, you get hold by Kawhi Leonard on the regular, so it ain't no difference there. Yep. So, I mean, if you're going to be on that whole shit, LeBron, you could be on that whole shit. But I feel like David Blatt's redemption will come and it will bite you in the ass in the near future. I believe that David Blatt has a chance to be, co to be coaching the NBA again. Won't be the Cavaliers, but he will be coaching the NBA again. And I will say he will be coaching the NBA again from next year to the... He has from ne next year, he has options for next year and the year after that. I think he's going to get back into coaching in the NBA. That, that, that was just... That was just... That was just road stop. That was just that was just a little warm up. I think we really are going to see David Blatt if 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 he gets the key if he can if he gets the keys to the ignition and there's no star player holding him back or there's no players holding him back and the organization is holding him back and they let him and they actually give him the keys to the car and let him drive the car. I think David Blatt could do some work in this league, man. I think David Black make he I think David Black can do some work in this league, man. I think he has I think he has what it takes to be in here. If you can coach LeBron and be the second best team in the East, go to the go to the NBA finals and then still be dominating in the East, even though you lost in the NBA finals, if you can do that, you have you have you have a you have a career in this league. There's no denying that. Black is going to have a career in this league. And but the thing is what teams can he go to? And my my big choice this, this these are the teams I'm going to say but I'm and I'm going to tell you the one that I really think he should consider. There's Houston, Denver, uh trying to think uh what's the other one? Houston, Denver, Phoenix. Phoenix is a good place for him. And the Lakers. And the team I prefer him to go to is the Lakers, mainly because I feel like he can build that young core with his with his coach. And I feel like his coaching was meant for that young core. Because Byron Scott gotta fucking go. Byron Scott is holding that team back for Kobe's sake. Okay, he's holding that team back from developing for Kobe's sake. I think they need to I think Black should come in and take over that job as as head coach of the Lakers. And I know a lot of people say, What about the Philadelphia City City? No, 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 no. Hell no. Hell to the no. No. Not uh. Don't even think about it. Never. Never. No, not at all. Never go to the Philadelphia 76ers because that organization is just not, they're not trying to win. They're losing on purpose to get good draft picks. 
they're doing this on purpose because they're trying to find another Allen Iverson, but fellow realize there's only one I Allen Iverson, Philly. I'm just saying. You will never find another Allen Iverson. Never. So stop trying to tank and just start trying to build. So, yeah, man. I think that the best way to go for him is it's the Lakers because I feel like the Lakers are going to be in rebuilding mode and I think David Blatt is a good coach to go into rebuilding mode with because I think he will mold the players better than I think Byron Scott will I think he has a better chance of molding the players into superstars and all-stars and stuff like that than Byron Scott does that's just my personal opinion I feel like he can do a better job there I also think uh, I think Houston would be a good place for him but it's it's based on where Dwight goes this season if Dwight leaves then I wouldn't go to Houston and then you have Phoenix 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 is is very questionable and so is uh, Denver too Denver is very questionable too but they it seems like the pieces that they have I think they're gonna stick with the pieces that they have I think David Black can build off that that's another good place I would see him at is Denver if not LA then Denver because I think I think Denver's gonna keep all their pieces and I think they have some young pieces that they that they might be putting together and I think that if you bring in a guy like David Black I think he might do some work there in Denver but my biggest choice for him to go right now is LA I think that's just the place where his where his career could really take off at I don't at Cleveland was just he he was doomed from this he was doomed from the time LeBron wrote that letter when LeBron wrote that letter his job was in question since um I think that he I think that he'll do a, a good job in LA though I think him building up that young team with all that talent that they have uh Jordan Clarkson D'Angelo Russell. Uh, trying to think who else? Who else? Uh, Julius Randle. Like they have a lot of good talent on that team. Uh, they got some guys like Roy Hibbert, who he can. I mean, if you if he can turn Timothy, Mo look at what happened to Timothy Moskov when he went to the when he went to the Cavaliers. Like if you seen what Timothy Moskov was doing his first year with the Cavaliers. Imagine what he could do with. Imagine what he could do with. Imagine what he could do with a, a Roy Hibbert or or some other big man that comes along in the near future so yeah that's pretty much my own personal opinion i think david blast redemption will come in the next one or two years tell me what y'all think in the comment section below i'll get back to you until then peace out and lebron james fuck you man how you gonna put all that effort you don't, you don't put no effort in we uh, the first time you face the spurs and the second time you face the spurs you want to put all that effort in and shit try to get that win get the fuck out of here lebron Sports post game show.